Hi everyone, welcome. I'm out here in my yard. A lot of you might recognize this art, artful covering of this grow bag over here. This grow bag is actually two grow bags, one nested within the other, in which we've got worms living. A couple of the worms are even hanging out right here on this top covering cardboard. Uh-oh, I hear emergency vehicles. I'm just gonna see about evicting these little guys off the cardboard if possible so I can set the cardboard aside and not lose any any worms because we do have a an official estimate now <laughs> on how many worms occupy this system this system was um populated 20 days ago was 20 days ago originally was the haul of 867 worms and that was um a number that we arrived at together 16 16 of us each kicked in our estimate for how many worms were hauled over that first time. The second time, 10 days ago, there was a slightly smaller haul of worms of 268 bought over, bringing us to a grand total of 1135. It's a pretty good sized population. And I don't really wish to always need to check in on this system on a very regular basis. I'd really like to try to load it up. Now that we've got over a thousand worms living in here, we've got lots and lots of bedding in here. I think we're in good shape to um, go ahead and give them their first really good size, somewhat massive feeding. So I'm just wanting to check how things look in here. I have been coming in here on a fairly regular basis over concerns about the moisture level of these, you know, pretty much bedding only setup here. It's only been 20 days since the worms have been living in here, making some castings, a few I'm sure, but. The majority of what's in here is just a whole bunch of uh, bedding, and I always worry that bedding, I always worry bedding is gonna dry out on the worms, and uh, that's the reason I've been in here with the, with the watering can, probably applying a good half gallon or maybe more each time, probably more like a gallon of water each time, <laughs> every few days. And I accept that the outer rim is gonna be a little bit drier, just because it's up against the fabric pots wall and gets a little bit more airflow. Although there is a plastic liner um, nested in between these two fabric grow bags. So the system should have a pretty good ability of holding on to its moisture content. So we, um, we bumped into a few worms along the way. I know I saw a few. It is a little bit difficult to spot them because in this type of material, they do blend in pretty good. And they're hard to spot. So let's see if we can unearth a little bit more damp material right down in the feeding area, which is where we gave them some broccoli and pumpkin the last time we checked in. And as luck would have it, that's exactly what they're getting a little bit more of today. I have a good bit of pumpkin and I have a good bit of broccoli that I'm trying to get rid of. I've also got a certain amount of old cabbage too, which is also going to be part of today's feeding. And this system has a very, very um, deep, um, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Depth. <laughs> it's got a good depth to it. Much deeper than I usually set up in. So I really wanted to go close to filling up this container here. So I did pile in a lot, a lot of stuff here. So lots and lots of bedding in here. Today, the only bedding I'm adding, since the system is so rich in bedding, is that little note with the worm count on it. And those couple pieces of soil paper towel and after that in can come this fairly generous portion of food i'm gonna go right into that hole and hopefully i've got enough leftover material here on the sides that i can get things covered up with so all this cabbage was really starting to spoil on me stuff you don't want to have around at least not at room temperature if it's frozen it's not going to smell but once it thaws out it's going to have some good odor to it all this uh pumpkin it's got a good, uh, good amount of moisture content to it as well. I wanted this feeding to be one that I can um, substitute for me needing to come in here on a regular basis and make sure I'm adding moisture. I think that over time, these bits of pumpkin, as they start to break down, they're going to kick off a good bit of moisture, sort of a time-release moisture package here, <laughs> which I think will last a pretty good long time, so I don't have to have that feeling of needing to come in here all the time to make sure things are okay. And there was some broccoli in there too probably spotted it already so that's their feeding 
nice generous feeding of our now 20 day old version 5 outdoor worm composting system worm bag and after two weeks and over a thousand worms occupying it I think we're seeing some pretty good results already I'm starting to see a little bit of what appears to be casting materials getting dumped here and there throughout the bedding as I comb through it although there is a lot of bedding and a lot of space for these worms to feel pretty comfortable in and hopefully start breeding because they sense the availability of space for more baby worms so that's it for our check-in today with the outdoor worm bag and what the current estimate of the population is i mean i've got my hole out equipment so we can always tap into the tap into the compost barrel for some more volunteers to come over here and help with the cause but for now i figured let's just try using it as is it might be enough to um really stir on some good activity as far as mating goes you know lots of space limited number of worms give them that sense that there's room to expand into all right everyone that's it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did as always please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go that's always really appreciated and if you haven't done so already please also consider subscribing to the channel that's really appreciated as well thanks for watching have a great day bye now